Good morning, good morning. What it do, what it do, what it do, guys? Came back with the little mud bang. Gonna eat some lunch. I got me some chicken tenders, some waffle fries, and some barbecue sauce, and my water. We're over here at a doctor's appointment. Everything's doing good. We're all good. We're improving and shooting. But, yeah, so I just started coming. Throw a little mutt bang with you guys. And probably talk basketball. My hair's been down too. I've been leaving it down. It's been wild and out, man. Let me cut some food real quick. I forgot napkins. Yeah, I was falling asleep in the truck. I would have went into the doctor's appointment. But, um, she usually goes in on this one. And everything's good. This is, uh, everything's okay. But, um... Alright, I haven't been posting, I'm sorry, but I get myself focused, you know, balanced, balanced out, and just balanced out, but I was going to say, I've been watching basketball, I've been watching basketball since the NCAA championship, and like all that. So I've been watching it, not like all full blown, but I've been trying to keep up with it. Let me tell you, man, these rookies, these not not rookies, man, these ball players, these street players, these players, bro. Let me tell you, they be balling, man. Especially on the ladies' side. I haven't seen no men yet, but in the women's league. From in the college league to getting drafted into the WNBA, from the WNBA to playing on the WNBA court, man, it's been bomb. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it's been bomb, and they be roughing it like that. Angel, um, Angel Reese, that Miss Reese, number five, I think, I believe. That Clarin, that Clarin, or Clint, I don't even know their names. I think I just know the number is 22. <laughs> I think she's 22. She plays for the Indiana Fevers. Them threes are from a distance. Mm hmm I really don't know. I grew up playing ball. I played basketball. So, like, <clears throat> it's a sport that I try to keep up with. But let me tell you, man, seeing them players, though, just brings me back to yesterday's, dude. I don't even have to be on the, port the court. They're doing it all. It's bad. It was badass. There's another chick that's so tiny. I don't know how tall she is, but... She looks tiny, but let me tell you, they all look tiny, but let me tell you, man, that these, t these, these rookie players, man, they're tall, they're tall, but there's another player, I think she's a guard, dude, when she gets picked in the NBA, WNBA, it's all sick, everybody that I've seen, that I've been watching, or that do talk about the WNBA, the new draft, the new picks, number 5, 22, there's more too, that carton blinks, or that blinks, I don't even know their names, and I'm sorry I'm getting them wrong, I should have everything before I make a video, but, uh, I forgot her name, but, the new rookies, man, everybody's saying they brought some new game, and new, new heat, and new, new vibe to the WNBA. 
There's a lot of people that are watching WNBA now because of these new players that are come that came in. <clears throat> and don't get me wrong, it could be right because I never used to really be into the WNBA. I was always into the NBA all the time. I still am. I still am. But these and WNBA players, the way they be pooping on the court, going back and forth, them passes, bro, like it's just it's all, it's sick, dude. <clears throat> I wish I was a good ass excuse my language, but a bad like a good person to do edits and have the time to even sit there and do an edit to figure this stuff out so I can throw clips in right here, right there, right there, just of all the highlights, bro, because dude, them highlights of WNBA are fire, dude. I don't know if you guys watch that. But if you guys go back to see them, I'm playing. And these. Mmm, sorry, guys. Mmm. And these, um. And these, um, WNBA players that have already been in the league for so many years, they're giving these rookies some toughness, no? Man, there's one where this number, the number five got clothesline, man. In the air, dude. In the air, bro. I mean, if you see, go back to see that clip. Damn, man. I mean, that was some cold stuff. But, I mean, she stood up like a champ. She stood back up and she goes, hey, this is what it is. This, this is what, this is how it is. And, you know, they're not supposed to be nice to me. They're not supposed to be my friend, you know. It's. It was, it's just sick. If you guys go back to that highlight, it's sick. Even the one, even the one to where number 22 gets shoved. I mean, they're just shoving them, like, you know? But, it's cool because these ladies, these young ones, are holding it down. And that's bad. Like I said, it just reminds me of back when I played, I played in, played basketball. For real. Even not just me, it was just like the team. The team that we had was bad, badass too. You know? But they brought the sport of basketball alive in the WNBA. I know the finals just ended for the NBA. They just ended, um, I think, last week. Last week or two weeks, because I think it started on the 6th. June 6th is when they started. And it was the Boston Celtics and the Dallas Mavericks. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong. I was wanting the Mavericks to keep going, dude. Because the Celtics won it right away. 3-0. and one, three and zero. So they had one more game, and that was going to be it. I watched a little bit of it, and you can tell the Celtics kind of laid back, you know, and it was like, like, you know what I mean, but man, as soon as they got to, well, the, that's when the, on the fourth game, that's when the Mavericks won, but on the last game, they were doing it again, same thing, same thing, it was going back and forth, good, smooth, 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 but after, after second half came, after second half came, Boom. That's when. Oh. <clears throat> I think this is already open. I'm not going to eat it. Dang. But, yeah, after uh, the Mavericks won the fourth game, and then the fifth game, like I was saying, after the second half, like I said, before the second half, it was just going smoothly back and forth at a good pace. Second half came. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Straight, straight to the hoop. Straight. I don't know what they won by, but I think it was 108 to 80 something. I was still cheering for the Mavericks, bro. I always like a good game. A good game is a good. You know what I mean? I was just having, trying to have a good game. It was a pretty good game when it was going at a good pace. But, yeah, so, that's what I've been doing is just 
watching basketball. No garden this year. We tried it, but I, fl I, I flooded the plants, man. I, I had planted from seeds, but I flooded them. But that's all I've been going. Like I said, I've been watching basketball. Keeping up with it. The highlights. The WNBA. The NBA. And it's bad. It's cool, man. So, I'm going to go back to the girls. WNBA again. Don't get me wrong. The NBA is bad. But the NBA was hit, too. Like when LeBron James was there. I mean, LeBron James is still there, but like Charles Barkley, freaking Michael Jordan, dude, Pippen, Dennis Rodman, dude. Bro, I mean, I just get all happy when I see that. I don't talk about it. I was reading a magazine on Michael Jordan, and that was bad. That was bad, dude. But... Like I said, going back to the WNBA, those rookies, bro, they on point. One of them was injured for a little bit. And these two players were against each other in the college, in the NCAA, okay? They got drafted onto the same team, and that's the Chicago Sky. I think they're both guards. Or no, they're both post. They're tall. They're like six one, six two, bro. And I thought, yeah, the NBA would be cool. When I was young, growing up, I want to be in the WNBA. They ain't got nothing on me now. I'd be all small compared to these ladies. But let me tell you, man. That one. That on the Chicago sky, those two players, I think they're post. Andrew, Andrew, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to bombshell their names because because these are professional players now, bro. <laughs> but the other lady, the other female, she's from the other side of the world, and for her to come here and to like, like she said, because I watched every, like I watched the documentary a little bit, but like she said, she left everything to come here. And, you know, to play the sport she's playing now. And, I mean, it's just amazing, dude. You know. But it's cool. I am appreciative of who I am and where I am today. And that I am appreciative that we have the entertainment that we do get offered to see. And watch. And watch these very talented people. You know what I mean? Because I grew up watching basketball. My mom was watching basketball. Golf. Yep. The Olympics. We grew up watching the Olympics on TV. Mm-hmm. We did. The swimming. The gymnastics. We did. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 But this, let me tell you, this chicken... And this is from, we're at Presbyterian downtown. And so, um, this food is from the cafeteria at the hospital. And it's pretty good. It can be pricey either, but. But yeah, man. The only thing with the WNBA that I can't watch it on TV because this was a big thing too in the beginning because ESPN was only certain, showing certain certain games. Don't uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but only certain showing certain games because of the players of who it was. And, you know, they try what they were trying to do is to. Divide and conquer, you know. Have these rookies or players go against each other. I hope these players stick together and let them know that hey, they all bring in the game, not just one or each of them. They all bring in it. It's bad. It's bad. 
I'm gonna head out, guys. I suggest you go watch the highlights. WNBA, the NBA. If you want to go check out the Olympics, you know, check it out, check it out, check it out. I kind of watched Ninja Warrior too, but that's if I find it. But let me tell you, the WNBA, NBA, and the Olympics are going on. And if you get a chance, go check out the highlights, man. See what I'd be talking about. Because I know I haven't been around. And this is what I've been trying to keep up with. But just let me let you guys know. Or let you know, Kayleen, too. Don't forget about you, Kayleen. <laughs> that I love you guys. I love you. And you guys stay cool. Always sharing them good, good vibes. Peace and love. Until I come back and mup bang again, I'll talk to you guys again. Peace.